This is your girl Unz representing for Campus Vibes. Today we are at Hampton School for the Hampton School's annual Founders Day. Let's take a look. Campus Vibes starts now. We're at that segment of the show where we hear from the students and members of the school board. Let's take a look. At once, let me recognize and welcome members on the platform. Of course, I'll do them in a series. I'll name some of them now. But as we go along, I will certainly recognize uh, most of them. And also, we have some very distinguished persons in the audience as well, and I'd like to welcome them. I welcome one and all, particularly our parents and our students, and of course, the band of very excellent teachers who are here as usual. Of course, let me start by welcoming Dr. John Gordon, who is the designate chair of the Hampton, of the Dickinson, Monroe and Dickinson Trust. And we know him as a philanthropist, someone who has contributed much to the country in various fields but particularly to the Hampton Mon and the Monroe community. And so we welcome Dr. Gordon, and we look forward to his greetings later on. Lastly, today is for those who will receive awards and trophies. I want to congratulate them. They have worked hard, and they have shown their mettle. They are an inspiration. I wish to commend them most heartily and hope they continue to work hard and to do well. In, do, in doing so, I wish to propose that in the immediate future, we want to see some of our students here march up to receive awards for their performance in areas such as artificial intelligence, robotics, software engineering, on to empower them to function in the fourth industrial revolution and to contribute to the new knowledge economy. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> the scripture reading is taken from Psalms 121, reading from verses 1 through to 8, and it reads thus, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He may not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth his rail shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil, he shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Here ends a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, Master of Ceremonies, Chairman of the Board of Governors, Mr. Wesley Barrett, our guest speaker, Mrs. Lorna Shelley Williams, our own Ombudsman, Mrs. Donna Parchment Brown, members of the Monroe and Dickinson Trust present, principal of, Monroe, principal of Hampton School, Ms. Mabel Brown, Members of the Hampton Old Girls Association President, Mr. Mark Smith, Principal of Monroe, if you're here. Dingris, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, parents and guardians. 
and of course students and all well-wishers. Good morning to you all. Education is the passport to the future. For tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. And this was a quotation by the late Malcolm X. Hampton students have been among the top performers island-wide. And with your excellent results over the past 20 or so years, one would think that your academic performance can be improved. But amazingly, it gets better each successive year. It always seems impossible until it's done. I expect, just like the former years, that today, most of you students will be showered with praises for your performance by Mrs. by our principal, Mrs. Brown. You have studied long hours and you have deserved every bit of praise. Dr. John Gordon, Chairman Designate of the Trust, our Masters of Ceremony, and also Chairman of the Board of Governors, Mr. Wesley Barrett, Mrs. Marvel Charlton Brown, our Headmistress, the Honorable Mrs. Justice Lorna Shelley Williams, <laughs> our Ombudsman, and also Pass our former chairman, Mrs. Donna Parchment Brown, members of the Hampton Old Girls Association, other distinguished guests on the platform and also in the audience, colleagues, awardees, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. The arc of the universe is wide, but it curves towards justice. A statement which aptly describes the illustrious career path and professional journey of our guest speaker, legal luminary, the Honorable Mrs. Justice Lona Shelley Williams. Our guest speaker and iconic Hamptonian was admitted to the bar in 1996. Thereafter, she worked in the Office of the Director of Public Prosecution, a fittingly appropriate place to cut one's legal tooth, so to speak, and carve out a stellar legal footing. She attended the Hampton School from 1978 to 1985, and she declares unequivocally that this is one of her highest achievements in life. Don't go anywhere. Campus Vibes will be right back. Welcome back to Campus Vibes. Thanks for staying with us. If you're just joining us, we're on the Hampton School campus today. Now we're at that segment of the show where we're going to get a chance to see some of the awardees for the day. Let's take a look. Now, in the days when I was here, the school stopped at Pelican, and there was one dormitory, which was cottage, but it was a little distance away. In other words, there were no new buildings, there was no new dormitories, no biology lab, no chemistry lab, no physics lab. So I appreciate, I hope you can appreciate just how lucky you are in attending Hampton at this time. When I attended Hampton, we had no water heater. We had to wash our laundry by hand most of the time. So I'm now told that you would now have water heaters. Is it so? 
I took the opportunity to take a quick look around Hampton and I can hardly recognize the school. I am proud to see the improvements that have taken place over the years. Now personally, I'm especially grateful for the increase in rankings as it relates to passes at CXC and Cape. I'm not afraid to say that I eagerly await the rankings each year for the schools as it relates to CXCs because I am always happy to see that Hampton is ahead of George's in rankings. <laughs> I went to Hampton, my husband went to George's. This gives me bragging rights for days and I am filled with joy and pride to see this. Please keep this up. I was placed in a class, unfortunately, was great, that was greatly misunderstood. We were misunderstood by our teachers, or prefects, or vice principal, or principal. I will just give you a few examples, and I'm sure you will empathize with us and realize just how misunderstood we were. The first example I'll give you is that there was a rule, I think, I hope it's still a rule, that you should not leave campus to go on the road to purchase any goods at the store in the square. It is a rule that we fully respect it, just so you know. However, you must remember that when you're in the lower school, your memory is not as good at it as when you're in the upper school. So due to this fact, there were many occasions when we forgot this rule and ended up before the headmistress. Now through our many, many encounters with the headmistress, she would always entreat us that as young ladies, we are to be, we are not to be crude and common. Who remembers this? <laughs> Top 2019 Cape results at grade 12 is Kalia Jones. Overall, 10 grades once, outstanding performance in biology, chemistry, English A, mathematics, physics, human and social biology, ad maths, and the gold certificate goes to... Thank you, Aliyah Reynolds. Okay, collecting today will be her sister, as she's not able to be here to, today with us. The second scholarship is the Hoga Donna Parchment Brown Scholarship. It's awarded to an upper six former, that's grade 12, 13, and is based on academic excellence in Cape One in the humanities, including law as well as leadership skills, service to um, school community, and outstanding character. The scholarship is valued at 100,000, and in recognition of our outstanding academic performance, I'd like to invite Ms. Rike? Rike Marshall to accept this award from none other than our Ombudsman, whose honor this award is granted. The awards for best academic performance in grade nine and a gold certificate go to Ayana Taylor.
Brittany Hansen and I'm the head girl of Hampton School located in Malvern, St. Elizabeth. Being the head girl is a great experience. You get to bond more with the Hampton School family and I get to exude my leadership qualities and lead the younger ones. In my opinion, life on campus is great. It helps to mold you in a well-rounded individual. You develop your soft skills and you basically form a bond with those in your year group and in the Hampton School family. To my fellow Hamptonians, I like to say keep doing the good work. Always um, showcase integrity, keep your heads up and always do the best that you can. Life at Hampton is very diverse. You meet a lot of different persons with different personalities, very intelligent students, very warm and welcoming, so it's a good experience here. My name is Gianna Brown, Deputy Head Girl of Hampton School. Life here at Hampton has been very interesting. It's very diverse and it has exposed me to a lot of opportunities to meet new people and to just be here and participate in a lot of curricular activities. I received outstanding performance in CAPE 2019. I received five grade ones and I also received the trophy that for students with the best behavior, I feel very accomplished and I'm very proud of myself. So I'm chairman of the um, Hampton Old Girls Scholarships and Bursaries Committee. We've been giving awards to the students at Hampton since 2009. We fund this through our various um, alumni associations in Jamaica, um, Florida, Canada, Northeast, and we have been able to contribute um, up to 19 million in the last, um, since we've been doing it. This year we were able to award 73 um, students with bursaries and another 12 with scholarships. These range from um, up to $1 million over a four year period for one student to be a boarder. And it's, a lot of this is done by um, Hamptonians giving back in honor of teachers, loved ones, or just someone who has impacted their lives positively. And we have found this to be particularly beneficial to the students because these are difficult times and they are so promising. There's a lot, as you can, you would be aware, the value and the contribution comes from their performances each year. And we really want to support them and it is really great for us to continue to do so. Um, I wish more Hamptonians would come on board. The need is great and we encourage you to do so. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. We take a short break before we get back. These are the stories that buzzed on the lips of our campus vibers this week. Hi, I'm your girl Unz. Black Facebook employee writes open letter accusing the company of having a racist culture. Kanye West Sunday service continues and Alicia Keys is set to host 2020 Grammy Awards for the second time in a row. Facebook is at the center of another controversy and this time it surrounds the company's allegedly racist practices within the workplace. Hmm. So several black employees recently got together and wrote an open letter calling out the frequent culture of racism. You won't have to look hard these days to find headlines detailing the long list of troubles that popular social media platform Facebook is in the middle of. Some are allegedly illegal, some shady, and then there are those that involve racism. Wow! So as reported by The Roots, a group of black Facebook employees recently published an anonymous letter explaining that the culture at the company continues to get worse for non-white workers. So the letter was published earlier this month and it highlights a variety of race related issues employees say they have endured over the years from Facebook managers, the human resources rep and their white colleagues as well. The letter was co-written by 12 current Facebook employees including black, Latinas and Asian workers. The letter also includes screenshots of racially offensive posts from Facebook's anonymous workplace community app. Wow! Moving right along, Kanye West is not slowing down on his efforts to bring his Sunday service to as many cities and venues as possible. Following the number one success of his latest album, Jesus is King, he has set up a new Sunday service location and it's courtesy of mega church pastor Joel Austin. So all 2019, Kanye West has been traveling with his Sunday service choir, he was in Jamaica recently. 
and he's been he's been to a lot of places around the world to spread his renewed Christianity the service has been a massive success bringing crowds to venues such as Coachella the forum in LA now according to TMZ Yee is teaming up with popular pastor Joel Austin to share his Sunday service with the members of Austin's congregation. Connie and his Sunday service choir will perform during the Sunday service nighttime service while he and Austin take to the pulpit and talk in the morning. Reportedly, Connie and Austin have been talking quite frequently and became good friends, which is due to Yee's renewed devotion to God. And finally, putting a cap on things. Alicia Keys is set to return as the host of the 62nd Annual Grammy Awards in January 2020. So during the last award show, Alicia showed up by simultaneously playing two pianos and brought the audience to tears during her open monologue. I'm your girl Unz and that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Remember for more Campus Vibes or to watch this episode again, follow us on Facebook and YouTube at BOJTV Live. Like, subscribe, share. Want us to visit your school? Comment and let us know. I'm your girl Unz. I leave you guys with the top 10 trending songs for this.